Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? You guys may be wondering, how do you get juice on NBA 2K24? I was very confused because they have a takeover perks tab in the side quest, but I did not see juice originally. Come to find out, what you have to do is you have to unlock six other perks before juice will pop up. That is a bit annoying, you know? Some of the takeover perks I really didn't have any interest in getting, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them all, test them all out because you need to get them all to get Accelerator and Juice and Extender aren't going to even pop up unless you get five perks for Extender and then you gotta get six and then once you do that, Juice pops up. Juice, as you guys know, or if you don't, once you activate Juice Takeover, you're going to get an extra boost to your attributes when the takeover is activated. So this is very big for builds. Like say maybe you made a max wingspan shooting center where you only have a 74-3. You're going to get plus 10 when you activate Sharpshooting Takeover. And then once you have Juice, it's going to be even higher than that. So maybe, you know, you don't have great dunking. Maybe you don't have great defense. But once you have that Takeover activated and you have the Juice perk on, now you're going to be elite at it. Now, to get this, you only need to win 20 part games in affiliation. Or you can play 20 street ball games. If you play the 20 street ball games, I recommend to go to Sunset and play against Disco. Disco is a 5-7 PG. And what you can do is... Is you can sit in the paint he's either gonna try to dunk on you or he's gonna shoot a three if he shoots the three he misses if he tries to dunk on you you can block him every single time it doesn't matter if you're a big man if you're a guard you'll be able to score on him very easily I mean as you can see I'm doing this with no effort at all he decides to shoot right here but he's not a shooter he is a slasher once again I go into the paint back him down now one unfortunate thing I'm not gonna lie is you guys are gonna see right here Sometimes Disco will get a contact dunk on you. I mean, I'll let you guys watch it right here. I have Gold Anchor. This doesn't happen very often, but if it does, don't get discouraged because you're still going to be able to win these games very easily. And if you're wanting to get it as fast as possible, this is going to be the best way to do it. Now, if you're going to be playing Park anyway, you could just play the 20 Park games and that way you're kind of unlocking it without putting in any extra effort. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about any of the takeover perks. I'm going to be testing them all out. 2K said some of them were buffed, some of them were nerfed, so we shall see. There are a few of them that seem to be the exact same as I get a steal right there. This threes gameplay is just us trying out a weird lineup in the park. Laker is on a six foot eight pure slasher, and me and Kitchen are both on six foot 11 stretch big builds. I'm not going to lie, these stretch bigs can be moving so this is actually a good lineup me and kitchen in this gameplay we just kind of made these builds we're testing out different dribble animations so it's nothing crazy yet but even so they're still having a tough time you would think that a pure lock will be able to just keep stretch bigs from moving at all but that is not the case and if they do i'm not gonna lie we got two of them on the court so they better have two locks and if they got two locks and a PG, that means Lakers going to have a small defender. He can dunk on him. There's not a good matchup for anybody right here. Trolling a little bit. I'm trying to see if Laker will get a contact dunk over him. He ends up playing good D right here. We're doing some touch passes. Kitchen, though, not ready to shoot the shot. But this touch passer badge has been insane. If you guys haven't tested it out definitely give it a try be ready to do touch passers and what i mean by that is if somebody passes you the ball kind of be looking around to see if you can just pass immediately to somebody else you could also pass back where maybe someone's driving they pass you you pass them right back it gives a pretty insane speed boost we actually have some super high passing on the court lakers got 82 i believe i got 86 and kitchen has 95 so if we are zipping the ball around the court, there's going to be a very high chance they do not get a lane steal. This guy tries to go in. As you can see as well, we're all so big. We can defend everything. We can just switch whatever we want. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There are a lot of players that I'm not going to trust their jump shot until they prove it. So you might see me out of position sometimes, but it's all planned. Don't you worry. Now, if I'm doing that and they're hitting the shots, then... I gotta lock in, I gotta start playing better defense, but with everyone struggling to shoot, I'm enjoying just flying around the court. My build, 75 speed, pretty mid defense when it comes to the perimeter. I mean, I got great interior, I got anchor on gold. I only get the interceptor on bronze, no glove, but I can actually get some plucks. 
I can get some good body ups with that silver immovable enforcer. Let me know too if you guys have been testing that out. You can get some insane bumps, whether it is the paint on the perimeter. It is a ton of fun. Strength finally does matter on the game, and I am loving it. As you can see, they get a nice layup right there. Do not let people beat you to the hoop. Make people shoot. Make them beat you from the three-point line. I have seen a lot of players on this game, and nobody is really cooking up like that unless they are elite guard. Check this out. Laker sees me do a wrap up as a stretch big. You can use the get open mechanic as well. I don't do it right there, but I'm definitely going to be making a video about it. You can be very movie on offense. Don't just stand there like a cone, help out, have something else in your bag. Now, everyone on the game is trying to have fun, you know? Kitchen, he wants to dribble up a bit. Laker, he wants to do his stuff. Sometimes I want to do what I want to do. I usually try to keep my crazy stuff to the 1v1 court because I like to just be a team player. So, you know, if somebody's got to take over, if they want to have fun, if they want to cook up, you can definitely, you know, chill, give them some space, let them have their moments. But make sure that you're going to be doing what you want to do. You're going to get your chances to cook up. You can have some fun. Kitchen with this sharp takeover right here. Comes off the screen, shoots the fade. He has money with all those shots. You know, every once in a while, you do have a bad shooting game it is what it is but whenever that happens we can have moments like this where it's my time to shine i'm hitting the shots on the pg right here guarding ball with the six foot eleven stretch big kitchen gets a strip on him coming down the court we both have sharpshooting takeover activated and they foul now i wish i wish they would lower the foul requirements in park everybody is fouling every single play I had to get that silver unpluckable on this build just to make sure. Check this out, too, man. You can green that shot. I thought I was going to stop. That's why I missed it. This time, though, I'm able to get a clean stop, and I'm not going to miss it again. And if you guys don't know, we're not going to see as many quit outs as we have seen in years past because if you quit the game, you actually get a one-hour ban or a 30-minute ban. That is pretty wild, you know. I feel bad for games like this where... You know, he's cold, everyone's in a shooting slump, they're just getting blown out. If they wanted to quit, I would have no problem with it. I wouldn't even mind as a you know, Jokic, Jokic hop jumper right here. I wouldn't mind if, you know, the game just ended, we didn't have to play AIs. It is what it is, man. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, if you want to drop a like, subscribe, of course, I appreciate it a ton. And this is Tonic, man. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.